Okay, so if I go through and look for a cylinder, it will give me a cylinder like so. And what I'm going to do is uh, go under parameters, just change its radius a bit so it's thinner, more like a roll cage. I think like one should be good enough. That's a good number to work with because I'll be repeating this process with the other parts here. And interpolation, you can change the steps down. So let's just say eight. Okay, that's more than I need. So probably just uh, one step for that. that. Should be quite nice. And what I can actually do is copy this uh, modify here, and I can plug it into the other one. So I can, I can paste instance if I want. And this is kind of cool because. At any stage when I decide to modify it, uh, it freaks, fix all the other ones as well. Quite nice, eh? Alright, so it's getting somewhere now. Alright, so I have a hollow section in the inside of the car, so I need to do something about that. Um, so I'm just going to select my car and I'm going to apply a modifier it's called Fill Hole. Where is it? Or cap holes. There it is. And it will cap the hole like so. I'm going to do polygon. Mo Oops. Thank you. Switch that off. Cap holes. Okay, there we go. I'll collapse all. Yes. And I'll go to face mode. And there you go. I've got it selected. And what I'm going to do basically is a outline. No, no, I'll do an inset, sorry. Like so. And then I'll do an extrude. Okay, sweet, I've got the inside of the car. <laughs> so it's pretty, pretty basic. <laughs> this is going to do. I mean, who cares? Whatever. Um, right. So our car's looking pretty damn sweet. Uh, I'll just do some cuts quickly. Tidy it up a bit. Just along the centre here. Okay, try again. Cut. Come on. Cut, damn you. Okay, it's doing the cut for me. Let's try vertex. That was doing some cutting, I think. Yeah. Okay, it's being funky. Um, vertex mode. I'm going to select this vertice here. And control select that vertice, and I should better do a connect. Yep. And just do one more connect, and I should better do a cut now. Got too much drama. Select it. Okay, it's still dramatic. Okay, let's do a vertex. And if this doesn't work, I'm just not going to care. So, connect, 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 connect. Connect. Alright, I don't care. Whatever, Max. Screw you. That should do. Alright, so this is going to form the basis for our low poly car. Um, what I'm actually doing is going to go in and select these two edible splines here. Okay. I'll just switch that off. There we go. It's an instance. It should be pretty sweet. And what I'm going to do is apply an edible spline to it. Can I do that? Spline select vertex. Can I move it? Please let me move it. No. Screw you and spline select. Set one of them at a time. Go edible spline. And what I'm looking at doing is I'll just turn the sweep again. It is pulling this down into the car. A wee ways, like so. Let's do it on this end as well. I'm looking for a beautiful finish here. Let's do this one as well. Vertex, turn on the end result. 
And let's pull this down as well. Okay, it looks good. And we'll do this one as well here. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Should be fine. All right. So let's get my sweep. And I think we're done. Let's just save that off. All right. So let's uh, drag this out for a copy. That's going to be my high poly. Let's make it leave it as a copy. And what I'm going to do is go in and what I'm going to do is just take my previous copy of my wheel here. Which I, I don't even have to do that. I can just uh, delete it. And I'm just going to detach from element mode here. And just detach this wheel here. Okay. Is it another date? And basically, I'm just going to shift drag this out of copy, just line it up in my previous wheel instance. Okay, should be nice. And do one more instance across. Alright, so let's look at my car again. I'm going to delete the wheels that were there before. Delete. And I'm going to do a real budget thing here. And that is to essentially uh, go in and let's switch it off. Go in and do a turbo smooth. Yes, I know. I say don't do it, but do do it. And oh, it's terrible. It's going to suck um, because of the way I've cut holes into it. Um, can I do a. Optimize perhaps. Quantify. Let's go. Let's just do a, um, an old school mesh smooth, which is even worse. Quad output. That's going to be totally gross. Uh, let's lower my smoothness here. I guess it's not going to really work. Just can it. Alright, what I might do is um, do some quick connects here. So I'll just delete half the mesh. And again. Uh, of course, I've got lots of issues with the inside of the car here. So F3, okay, I need to connect those two vertices uh, somehow. And that should be done with the cut, but doesn't want to do it. Um, cut, 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 cut. Let's stick this point here, and let's stick this point here. Oh, it worked at the time. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, let's go to my top view. And let's annihilate and kill one side of it like so. Alright, so I'm just going to see if I'm fixing my wheel arches here a little way. So I'm just going to select vertices and just do like connects across here. Connects. Okay, that should be sweet. I'll just do one across here. This is going to be the basis of my high poly, but what I need to do is essentially repair it uh, so my mesh move will work properly or turbo smooth. Connect. So this is just a bit of a stupid thing to do. Hopefully it works alright for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Should better do a collapse. I can do a target world actually. That should do. And just gonna start connecting. I'll just target world up here. Okay, sweet. And then just repeat this connect process. 